Well, we got every drop they were calling for and then some. They were calling for 10 to 18. And man, I'll tell you what, I'll bet we got 14 right now. And you can see, well, maybe you can see it's still snowing. Sometimes the camera hides that. But anyways, I want to talk about this building. And you know that I put this up, I don't know, a month or two ago, whatever. And we were talking about the snow buildup on it. Now, this is about as much snow as we're going to get at one time, usually up to a foot and a half. There is some snow buildup on this side here, but over there there's nothing. And that's because we have predominantly west winds, blows it off this side, kind of builds up here. Same thing here and then down there. So good news is I only have one side to ever clear off, but there's not enough up there in my opinion to clear off to put any pressure on those beams. So we're good to go. Let's go ahead and get this 400 fired up. It's a true cold start, folks. 12 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. Well, there's a lot of snow on it. And uh, I meant to back it into the building yesterday, and I just didn't get around to doing it, so... I'm going to pay the penalty today. And by the way, for you new viewers, this is a 1955 Farmall 400 with a 2000 loader. Now, what this 2000 means to me, that's about the maximum lift capacity, one ton on these. And uh, really good loaders, pretty good loaders. If I ever got another loader tractor, I'd probably eventually maybe put a loader on my gas 756 and it'd be a 2250. So, I normally don't choke this tractor to start it, but you can bet I'm going to today because this is the coldest that uh, I've ever had it in. So, and I'll be surprised if it doesn't fire up, but you never know. All right, good way to clear the deck off was with your arm. I want to make sure you get all this cleared off too because it will mess with you when it comes to the pedals. Oh no. Okay. Man, I hope there isn't um, moisture down in here because that could pose a problem when it comes to shifting and actually moving. I've seen that happen before. I had a friend that had a farm all. He left it out in the rain and then it froze for a couple days and he couldn't move it because there was moisture right down in the old platform so yeah we're gonna have to get rid of that snow off there so i can replace the snow with my butt it's just miserable out today there's really no other way to truly describe it it's northwest pennsylvania at its finest and uh i guess i could blame my ancestors because they're the ones that chose to live here and I'm still here, but I guess I could always move. Did that a couple times in my life. Well, let's see what we got. Oh, we're froze. We're froze. This is this is a cold start like never before. All right. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Boy, that ignition switch is froze too. I bet I got water in the uh, fuel system. I'll bet you. Let me take that choke off. I smell gas. All right, let me try that. I don't think we're cranking fast enough to turn it, but I could be wrong. No. Well, I'm going to have to undo this and see if my jumper pack will turn it a little faster. But I wouldn't doubt that there's moisture in that fuel. It is, it is, I do have a full tank in it. But it is cold, man. Yeah, and you can see the 
the filter I change that filter out in line and uh, it's full of fuel so I'm, I'm definitely getting fuel to the carb is my guess not enough crank and so I'm gonna go in and get my jumper pack real quick come back out and give it the old try all right so I'm back out here again and uh, what I have is a genius boost it's the GB 40 and now I can tell you they make the GB 70 and one size up from that if I had to do it over again I would have definitely got the 70 um, I've had some luck with it but uh, I just think the 70 it just it's just got more juice to it and you know for jumping gas tractors I think this 40s okay but not for diesel oh man well, that ain't gonna come off there easy, so. Ooh, what's that? Well, that's a millimeter, but I'll bet, I'll bet one of them fits metric get her done with a metric it's amazing you know you got antique stuff and uh this is this is kind of the you know there we go busted that sucker by the way it was 19 millimeter all right yeah, that'll work. Got a glove on my left hand, none on my right. Just how I work. I gotta, of course, I won't feel my hand at the end of the day. But nothing like a good thought in a house to make you moan and shake your hand for about an hour. All right, let's get this jumper packed, set up. All right. All right. Turn that choke back off. And now the cable's not hooked up to the choke switch. It's another thing. I just got this tractor this year again for you new viewers. So, yeah. This is it. Nope. Wonder if I got a different battery I can throw in there real quick. Like I said, word to the wise, if you're gonna buy one of these. And uh, ISX Cummins 565 bought one. His was a 40 as well. So, I don't know. Oh, you dummy. I turned the light on instead of the unit on. And I like to let the unit run for, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds. There is a limit on how many times you can use these before you got to give it a break. And I think it's, it's either three or five. It's one of the two. And you can see it's going through the motion, juicing it. I don't know if I should choke it or not. Sounded better. Now I've tried that once, so that's one try. Yeah, we'll give it half choke. Because we ain't no joke. I mean, it is just absolutely blizzarding. All right. It's just not turning fast enough. Probably what I'm going to end up doing is just taking this battery out and just throwing it on charge overnight. Just put it on a trickle. We'll let that go through the motions. This pack is actually fully charged. Again, I wish I had a GB70. I still may buy one. I don't know. 
these are good for like cars you know if your car if you left your lights on you went into the store left your lights on for a half hour you can't get your car to turn you throw this on it gives you just enough over the edge juice to start it let's try it nope I try it one more time and then this battery's coming out of here I try to pull start it but man I don't know if that back end here throws up you don't want to start forcing stuff that ain't good yeah one more try we're down for the count <laughs> tell you one thing gas tractor turns out hard something ain't right bet there's a little bit of moisture in that fuel like i said earlier so i'm going to get it running and then get it in that shed get it out of the elements close this down for the night Oh, I don't know. I might be able to trickle charge it for a few hours and get away with it. Well, I'll be darn the sun come out. Let's get this battery. Throw it on there. Well, yeah. Hi, H. Trickle charge a few hours. And it is a new battery, so I think it'll work. Something else I'm probably going to have to do to get it fired up as well. Hmm, actually, put this sucker on trickle too, why not? That's the battery out of the M. I get my batteries at Napa, and uh, they're these legends. I usually get about two years out of them, and then they're done. A lot of people complain about batteries. You know a guy who owns a construction site, so he has, you know, bulldozers, backhoe, whatever. And uh, he can't keep a battery more than about 18 months. So, yeah. We're not going to be locking for juice. Crazy juice, that is. Gently lower. Let's see. Somebody asked me in the community tab comments why this wasn't parked in the I just didn't I just didn't get to it in time. I was just gonna back it right in and just didn't. So here we are. I don't know. I wouldn't say a foot and a half of snow, but I wouldn't say much less than that either. I guess the good news is is that they're not going to be exposed to salt, which is a huge issue in my neck of the woods because hey, you buy a vehicle six years later, it's rotted out from the salt. Let's see what we got. Hmm. That ain't good. That ain't good. That battery should be just absolutely... Come on. I wonder if the starter took a crap. Yeah, bad connection somewhere. I mean, Fuel. Well, one way to check the battery is to put it in another tractor, i.e. the Farm OM, 
and when that fires right up, which I believe it will, then I know I got another issue. Could be the starter on this thing. Just finally gave out. You start your solenoid, whatever. Tighten down these cables, like legitimately. Take that off. Take that off. Tighten that down. I just want to absolutely make sure I've had loose cables where you just tighten them up and all of a sudden it takes right off. Squeeze down tight on them. There we go. Okay. They're tight. So let's try it again. Yeah. 